<laughs> How's it going, people? YouTube, this is Tornado 573, and I just got my Ranger radiation alert sent to SE International right here, and I just got it calibrated, and it just got sent back to me a couple days ago. So um, it is recommended to get your Geiger counter calibrated annually, so once a year. If you're using it a lot, I don't use mine a lot. Um, I just wanted to have it calibrated because when you order one, it's not calibrated to the standard right here which is the um, ANSI calibration standard right here. Um, so this is the paper that I got sent along with my unit. So we'll just kind of give an overview. So you can see where it got calibrated, uh, the date it got calibrated, and then the uh, due date for it to be done next year right here. Um, and then some instrument information, um, my model ranger, my serial number, uh, the type of tube I have, the model number 7317, and some other cool stuff, um, like they did a battery check, tolerances, and stuff like that. Anyway, so they has got some calibration data right here, which is pretty neat to see. Um, you can see how they uh, tested it and what it came back as for my readings and stuff. All right, so this is the most important box right here. Um, this is what they actually changed when I sent my unit in. So they changed the dead time to 1.04 E-04, and it was... 1.140 E-4 so um, slightly smaller number for the dead time and they also increased my gamma sensitivity to 3700 when it was at 3340 and I'll show you guys um, on the software that's provided with the Geiger counter what they actually did in the Cal panel so we'll jump to that right now all right, guys, so right here we got Observer USB pulled up right now, which is uh, SE's International's uh, free software that you can download from their website. To see what they actually changed with the calibration, we got to go up here to our, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? So, okay, so you go to view, and then you go to our Cal panel, which is the calibration panel. And then you can see our serial number, and then our calibration date right here where it was calibrated. So all these numbers are locked, and you can't change them unless... You can actually, but it will, if you click this, um, you'll lose your calibration date cert. So you don't want to touch that um, when it gets calibrated from SE International. Just don't mess with anything. But you can see where the dead time right here was changed and our uh, gamma sensitivity was changed right here. So showing 3700 and 1.040E-04. So pretty neat. Alrighty guys, so here we got is the Radiation Alert Ranger. In my hand, you can see it's a tiny little guy, but it does the job. So we just got it calibrated. So I'm going to turn it on and show you what is new with the screen. Not a whole lot. So press and hold. We'll see Radiation Alert Ranger. And you can see the firmware and the calibration date has changed on it. Not the firmware, but just the calibration date because it just got calibrated. And then it's going to do its self-test. And in about 30 seconds, it will beep and it will be ready to use. Just want to show you guys what happens when you get your Geiger counter calibrated. So I hope this video was uh, helpful um, or informative. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Really don't care. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good day.